Wednesday, January 16, Fort George, St. George's. At 9.34 a.m., the door to the conference room of the police headquarters at Fort George swung open and the six-foot frame of the Commissioner of Police strode through, followed by the Deputy Commissioner Johnson David. The 12 men and three women who were seated around the large rectangular table all rose to acknowledge the presence of the superior officers in the room. These 15 officers each headed a department in the RGPF. Only the training school was not represented at today's meeting. They were all dressed in their khaki uniforms, the appropriate insignias identifying them as superintendents or assistant superintendents. Everyone stared at the glaring face of the commissioner, noting the impeccably pressed khaki uniform, spit shine shoes and socks pulled up to just below the knees. They stifled smiles, knowing that she never liked being late and was obviously annoyed by her own tardiness. No doubt, the European tourists milling around the fort this morning had delayed her for a few minutes, probably to take pictures with Grenada's highest ranking police officer, or maybe to even ask questions about the fort itself. The commissioner scanned the faces of the top minds of law enforcement gathered in the room and relaxed a bit. She mastered a faint smile as she greeted the officers who sat down after she and her deputy took their seats at the head of the table. She knew that some of the men were not pleased when she landed the position a year ago. The women were elated when history was made in the country as she became Grenada's first female police commissioner. But no matter the opinion on her appointment as commissioner of police, she was very qualified for the position. Ladies and gentlemen, I am serious about taking the battle to the drug traffickers. Under my watch, Grenada will not become the eye of white spikes. No, no.